Beating Mesmer in Elden Ring is a difficult task. If someone tells you they did it first time, they're either lying or they made the DLC. So I'm going to tell you what you'll need. I'll tell you the strategy and then I'll show you my full gameplay at the end of the video so you can see that it works. Okay, for weapons, I just went with a staff and a shield. You'll need a pretty tanky shield, so I'd recommend the fingerprint shield. You can get this at the bottom of the sewers during that section where you're dropping to lots of different platforms. If for whatever reason you don't have any of the items in this list, you could hop in our Discord that has over 7,000 players who help each other out with item drops, rune drops, fighting bosses, and everything in between. So hop on in at discord.gg forward slash gaming exploits. You will need the tankiest armor you can find and the white mask because it boosts attack power with blood loss in the vicinity. So we just want one spell for this, the impenetrable thorns. You can get that here. I've uploaded a video on the exact route if you can't find it. So I'll pin that in the comments. You will want the Dragon's Crest Great Shield Talisman that boosts damage negation, the Lord of Blood Exaltation, which also boosts power when there's blood loss in the vicinity, the Graven School Talisman, which boosts sorceries, and the Graven Mass Talisman, which greatly boosts sorceries. So you want the Opaline Bubble Tier, which will give you the ability to tank a hit and take very little damage from it. And then either the Crimson Burst Crystal Tier, which will heal you over time, or the Cerulean Hidden Tier, which will give you infinite FP for a time. So I went for Radan's Great Rune because it boosts FP, HP and Stamina. You will need to either summon in the Mimic Tier, which will perfectly help distract, but we'll also be using the same spell, making this whole process faster. Or you could summon in a friend. And as I said before, we've got 7,000 friends for you in our Discord, so come say hi. Okay, step one, walk through the door and instantly summon your Mimic. You'll only have time to do this, so don't try healing the lost HP. Now, you'll need to roll once for when Mesmer lands on you, wait one beat, and then roll again when he does the explosion. From here, you can cast your first Impenetrable Thorns, which will rapidly tick up his blood loss. And if it hasn't already, it will max out on the next hit. Now, just stay back and hold your shield up until your Mimic gets the aggro. When Mesmer turns around from you, you can now heal. Step two, your Mimic will keep landing Impenetrable Thorn hits, and Mesmer's blood loss will be going crazy here. On top of that, your damage has now shot up because of the Lord of Blood's exaltation and the White Mask. So your next hit with the sorcery should destroy Mesmer and send him into his second phase. Before you manage that though, let's talk defense. A lot of his attacks during the first phase are pretty simple to dodge or block. He does that jump and throwing a spear attack, which is easy enough to roll out of the way of. Just don't roll backwards, roll to the side. He also summons in a small ball of fire in his hand. Just roll when the fire shoots at you. And then he has a mix of hits with his spear or fire that can be either blocked or dodged quite easily. The big one is when he starts spinning with his flaming spear. This is followed up by charging at you while doing a sweeping attack with the flame and spear you can dodge this part by rolling at him and quickly face him and hold up your shield for a free hit barrage from his spear then finally roll backwards twice once for when he hits the ground and then again for when he summons multiple spears that also hit the ground so that's the craziest combo that he does and once you master that his first phase will be laughable he does also have a move that he does rarely but if he comes running at you with his hand out just be ready to roll when he gets close after you and your Mimic have hit him enough times with your Impenetrable Thorns, you'll send him into that second phase. This whole process actually took me 48 seconds. Step three, okay, the second phase seems incredibly chaotic, but it's very, very doable. Just like with the first time you walked into the boss room, you've got enough time here to perform one action. And that action is drinking your Wondrous Physic because you will no doubt need to tank at least one hit. After you drink the Physic, the snake head will come crashing down to the ground in your direction, so roll back twice, once for impact and once for the follow-up explosion. From here, like last time, you've got enough time to quickly get one attack in. So use impenetrable thorns and then have your shield up ready. It's pretty likely that Mesmer will come at you with a couple of spear hits before your mimic manages to take a little aggro. Once he does, use impenetrable thorns twice and get that shield back up. The trick with this in the second phase is you have time to use the spell a maximum of two times. More than that, and you'll lock yourself into an animation and likely be killed by Mesmer. The snakehead attacks that Mesmer summons aren't actually that difficult to roll out of the way of if you actually just slow down and watch for the attacks. It's as soon as you start panic rolling, that's when you're gonna get caught out. Usually it's free snakehead attacks and then you'll be met with an angry Mesmer. Just keep hitting him twice with the spells and then holding up your shield and every now and then 
then instead of hitting him twice, just heal up and then hold up your shield again. Your Mimic will be hitting him too, so the blood loss will be insane. Mesmer is a glass cannon in the second phase. He gets damaged incredibly fast, but it's just about you outlasting him. So keep the strategy up until you hear that enemy failed noise. So have fun, hit that sub button for more, and thanks for watching.